Welcome to the Naked Mama podcast, where to be truly naked is to be eternally committed to stripping away the layers, illuminating the truth within, and emerging as the woman, the mother that you are destined to become. To be truly naked is to be truly you. I am your host, Angel Rockwell, intuitive motherhood coach, transformational mentor, and bold believer in turning the impossible into reality. I am a mama, a wife, a revolutionary entrepreneur, and a visionary for creating a legacy of abundance and fulfillment inside of motherhood. My mission here with the Naked Mama podcast is to debunk the myths of motherhood that disconnect you from your power as a mother and as a woman, and to reconnect you back to the sanctity and magic of the mother-child bond that ultimately is the key to uncovering the ease, freedom, and confidence that you desire, and truth be told, are meant to experience. I'm going to be sharing pieces of my transformational journey along with purely sourced intuitive guidance so that you can begin to see what's possible for you, know that you are not alone, and begin to take action, building momentum towards living the life that you know deep down you are meant to live. The Naked Mama podcast is here to break down the myths of motherhood that are holding you back. Each episode is designed to be a powerful conversation to raise the consciousness of women through motherhood. Each episode holds the power for you to shift into alignment, gain deeper clarity, and expand your awareness. My commitment to you is to show up authentically and be naked with you. The journey here inside the Naked Mama podcast is the journey of evolution and expansion into deeper levels of fulfillment, freedom, and ease. Here inside these episodes, we connect and ground, nourish ourselves, grow and rise together. I am so excited to welcome you into the world of the Naked Mama. Now, if you're wanting extra love and more support in between episodes, please follow me on Instagram at the Real Angel Rockwell. Now, let's dive right into today's episode. When I first had the inspiration for this episode, I was excited. Now, I experienced something this morning which has shifted me into a place of being so deeply in the vibe of this episode that the excitement is next level. So before we get into anything, let's breathe together. Go ahead, mama, and breathe all of the air out of your belly, pause what you're doing, close your eyes, be with yourself, be here with me. Now take a big deep breath in, allow the breath to fill you, hold the breath, and then easily, fluidly, flawlessly let the breath flow out. Now, The myth that we are taking a look at today is the myth that you need to spend time away from your children. The theme here today is self-care. Now, we're going to take a look inside this conversation here together at what self-care means, what we make it mean, We're going to take a look at some alternate perspectives, some small shifts, maybe massive shifts that we can make into how we perceive our journey of motherhood, how we relate to ourselves inside of it, and how we relate to our children, and how we can really begin to integrate this into a beautiful flow of nourishment and vitality, of care, self-care for you, care for the entire family dynamic. And this starts with you, Mama. So the moment that I experienced this morning, which just next leveled this for me, it was just so perfect. One of those moments where I stopped myself and looked directly at my daughter and I said, This is exactly it. This is what I'm working on here. And 
it was such a simple moment. I a big priority for me this this year, the past six months particularly, has been to be really integral and really clear with my schedule, with my timing, and and how I communicate this with with my daughter, with myself, and with my husband as well. So this morning, I was really wanting to to send a voice message to to a friend, to a colleague. Uh, her and I hold one another uh, in accountability with so much. And I was just really fired up to respond to something she had said to me. And uh, it <laughs> it wasn't going flawlessly with my daughter. I'd set her up with coloring. We were we were in space together and I had communicated to her what I was doing and she'd agreed she was going to color. And then we got into it and it just, it didn't go as it planned. We both agreed and it just didn't go that way. So I just started a conversation with her and she said, Mama, I don't want you to be on your phone. And I felt myself jumping towards, but I want to do this or I need to do this. And those words didn't come out of my mouth. I just paused and I asked her why. I said, well, why don't you want to be on? Why don't you want me to be on my phone? And she said, well, I just want you to be here with me. I want you to color with me. And I took the pause and I she was looking at me and then she went back to her coloring and I just, I felt into this space of, okay, I do believe, and this I believe for myself, I believe this for you, I believe this to be a universal truth of motherhood. I believe that it is possible for a mother and a child to both be completely nourished and satisfied and taken care of inside their connection. And I experienced so much of this in my life. This is a foundation in my life. This is a foundation in my work with my clients. I believe that it's not only possible, I believe, and I've seen this, which is why I share it, that it is so integral to the health and well-being and the development and the growth of mama and of baby. So I realized in myself that what I was doing was I was trying to force the situation to be a way that it really didn't need to be. I slipped into a moment of, well, I need to do this, so you need to deal. And although that's not what I said to her, that's what the energy was and it didn't feel good. And that's why we were both not feeling good. So I said, you know what, Ophelia? I think you're right. I can be here and color with you and I can send this message. And it just took me to get a pillow out and I laid down on the floor with her and I grabbed a blue crayon and I started coloring some clouds and I sent the message. I was there with her in a way that I truly believe wasn't because my physical body moved there and picked up the crayon. It was because I allowed a piece of myself to be there with her without resistance. So this moment for me perfectly illustrates that we do not need time away from our children. Now, that's not to say that it it's not beneficial from time to time for there to be some physical distance. And mama, I honor you and every mama. This conversation is here to break down the myth, the structure that we're set up into that you need to be apart from your children for reason A, B, C, and D. And we're going to look at some of those reasons and we're going to shape them differently and you're going to leave here feeling differently today. We're going to look at them from a place of nourishment for you, mama, and for your child, your children. Not from a place of need because that creates the resistance that I experienced this morning with my daughter. We're going to disintegrate, begin to disintegrate this resistance, looking at nourishment versus need. So the vibe today is integration. It's connection, nourishment. Without looking at the lack of it, 
inside our motherhood journey, but really looking at it from the place of nourishing self, of self-care. So before we dive in even deeper, let's relax wherever you are. Take a moment. Take a pause. Shift your focus to be here in this moment. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Allow your hands to even massage your neck as you listen. Just notice. Touch your body. Remind yourself that you are here to care for you, that you can provide yourself every ounce of nourishment that you desire. So breathe out all of that air. And as you breathe in, breathe in nourishment, sip it in. And as you exhale, consider it done. We're going to take two more breaths together, breathe it in, and on this sip of air, breathe in self-care. Breathe it in, sip. And as you exhale, consider it done. Allow the shoulders to relax more deeply. Allow the muscles in your face to relax. And again, on this third breath, sip in that nourishment. Breathe it in. And exhale your beautiful, nourished self into the world. Now, nourishment plus self-care. These go hand in hand, but they aren't intrinsically the same. What we step into as mothers, what this myth is, is a structure, is a framework that sets us up into a world where mothers need to take time for themselves, time away from their baby, time for others to give us a break, time for other people to tell us what we need. Now, there's so many ways to look at self-care. And for for me, self-care has has really been a journey deeper, a journey inward. Uh, truth be told, in you know, 2013 version of of Angel, self care was was uh, was very outward. It was going out. It was being with people. It was going to the extremes outwardly. I what I needed at the time, or what I really wanted at the time, and what fueled me, that just made me feel free, was to go out. And yeah, a lot of the time that was out hitting the dance floor, but just that outward of me expressing myself out, speaking out, being out. Now, the external importance of the health and well-being placed on a child being away from its mother is where this kind of gets interesting as well for me. So it's Again, we're looking external, but in a bit of a different way from the external coming into us versus us going out to it. When I say this myth is here that says we need to take time for us, it's important to take time for you. Say, well, yes, but we're going to shape the way that time looks like a little differently. So in 2018, my version of self-care had shifted. I had just given birth to my daughter, Ophelia, and I had a lot of that space for me. You know, infants, they they sleep <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Maybe not at the times that we particularly are, are used to us sleeping, but uh, there was a lot of that that stillness where even if she wasn't sleeping, she was still. She was situated in one place. So me even physically being on my own was different. You know, I, my daughter's three and a half now and she's still breastfeeding. So the the dynamic of even just physical contact with her has been a really interesting journey in what that time is. And in at that time, there was very much that I felt like I was getting this time for me because I was still feeling like time for me meant 
time separate, time away. And the most important thing for the well-being of mama and the well-being of baby and the well-being of the mother-child bond is the connection. A healthy connection, a healthy bond, and mama and baby get to determine this. So if we come at it from mama needs this, so baby has to deal, or mama can't handle this, I got to go over here and you got to do this. Like, yes, these moments happen. And yes, I see you. I feel you. I've been there. I honor motherhood in this. But there is a way for both. There is a way for mama and baby to benefit. There is a way for everyone to benefit. Now, my self-care in 2021 looks a lot different. And this is because of the choices I've made based on the intuitive hits, the intuitive guidance that I have received. And I started feeling those misalignments like I did earlier today in taking that time away. Now, in my family dynamic, it's my husband and I and our daughter were, were, were it really for us here. We don't, we don't choose um, to reach out to external support for many reasons. And this is a choice that I own and I love and I feel so deeply grateful for because the, the, ener the energetics and the dynamic, the environment is so sacred to me. So sometimes people will say to me, well, Angel, it must be so hard to just not have that external support. And I say, it's actually really beautiful to have this internal support. There is always a way for both to benefit. So looking at this from the nourishment, not the need. Now, again, every mama's journey is different. And the question here, the curiosity comes into play when we get to look at how does it feel? And how is it working? Because often what I see is the scrambling, the desperate grasping for, I just, I need a fucking moment for myself. And then we can't seem to find it. Mothers can't seem to find it. Maybe you right here, right now, can't seem to find it. Because we're looking out there. And that's not where it is. The connection is inside of you, where that child began, where this whole beautiful journey began. It's inside. It's inside the mother-child bond. So to say that we need to separate and disconnect from this to nourish ourselves is the antithesis of breathing life and health and vitality and nourishment into the connection that fuels and feeds you both. My self-care here now in 2021 is most concentrated, is most potent when I am with my daughter, when I'm with her in the tub, when I am sitting on my yoga mat doing breathing with her, when we're having a stressful moment in the car where we've been playing in the grocery store parking lot for five minutes and I really would like to get home and put the groceries away and she doesn't want to get into her seatbelt and I'm doing my best to honor her desires and integrate it all together and we pause and we hold hands and we put our foreheads together and we take a breath. When I am dancing with her, these moments when I am with her. And the magic that's in there is the connection. It is the nourishment. It is the self-care. Choosing to be a mother, choosing to embark on this journey of motherhood, and choosing to embrace the path, the journey, the full experience of what it means to be a mother is so much deeper and richer underneath this well, you, you need to do something else here. You need to go look over there. No, the magic is here. So I'd like us to breathe because I feel 
And I know that this is not the way that we are given most consciously to approach our needs. And for a moment, if we can breathe and exhale all of the air out and just push the need aside and breathe in desire and breathe out allow this moment to be your care breathe in the clarity for what you wish for your relationship with your child your children breathe it in exhale breathe it out Allow this new version of you to integrate. And again, breathe in the nourishment, the self-care, the tending to, the relaxation, everything you desire in your moments of true self-care. And as you exhale and breathe out, allow it all to be so. Now, this episode today shapes up very differently than how I had intended. And the moment from this morning that for me was the perfect illustration that I don't need time away from my daughter, where the magic lies, where I grow, where I receive the clarity, where I expand into being the woman that I want, and at the exact same time, step into motherhood in a way of being the role model and being present in the way that I've always desired to be, just harmoniously, simultaneously meet and connect and be. That moment changed everything for me. And all it took was me staying inside of it when it got uncomfortable. And because I'd taken the steps and I'd made the choices that led up to it on the woman that I wanted to be, which allows me to be the mother that I desire to be and continuing to become. These moments that feel like I need a fucking break these are the moments where we need to sink in, where we need to reach for our children. We need to look them in the eyes. We rest our foreheads on their foreheads if they'll allow us. So my daughter and I, I adore it deeply. Whatever it is for you, for you to be with your children, these moments when we feel like we need to flee, we need to be with our children. We can shape our journey however we choose. It is important, so important to remember that we have a choice. When we get curious, we can decipher between what we've been told, what we've been shifted and shaped and conditioned into, and what we know to be true. So this has been a lot today. It feels so fulfilled to me. If it feels like a lot for you, honor yourself in that. If it feels exciting, again, if it feels something, I always encourage you to, to, to honor it in yourself. And if you're open to sharing with me, love to hear it with anybody, just with the universe. There is these moments when we feel something lands and it hits and we know the best place to speak it is to yourself and is to the universe that is here to support you unconditionally. So this myth that we need to spend time away from our children, this has set us up to disconnect from them. And to disconnect from them is to disconnect from self. To disconnect from self leaves us in this place where we're looking outward for the answers. So this myth disintegrates at our feet. We stand tall and we rise into the mothers we choose to be. And we move into a world where we move into a world where to be truly nourished, to take the truest care of ourselves is birthed from being 
inside the moments with our children. One last question before we wrap this up here today. When you feel into who you are inside the relationship with your child, with your children, when you feel that, how does it feel for you? If you feel like you need a break, that's okay. This conversation is an invitation for you to look a little bit differently at how you may serve yourself so you can best serve your children and the generations to follow. Thank you so much for joining me inside this episode today. For your willingness to be in this conversation, share in the vibe, the wisdom, and the connection with me. This vibe is now yours to take with you. So take one more deep breath with me, mama, and breathe this in before you step forward with the rest of your day. Pause what you're doing. Be still. Close your eyes. One hand on your heart one hand on your belly deep breath in and deep breath out feel what you feel honor it and love on yourself like crazy for being open to this moment right here right now if this episode resonated with you made you feel something undeniable I encourage you to share it and spread the love and please tag me so that I can connect with you and indulge in the vibe with you and so that together we can get this podcast into the hands of more mamas who could use a little naked mama in their life. Remember to subscribe so you can stay connected and if you're looking for love and support between episodes, follow me on Instagram at therealangelrockwell. If you're feeling pulled for more, Join the Naked Mama private Facebook community where deep levels of magic await. Lastly, always feel free to connect with me directly. I adore voice messages, just FYI. If you choose to pop into my inbox, I guarantee I'll be all up in your inbox in the best way. I will see you here again next week for another transformative episode. Until then, sending love and light to you, beautiful mama.